What's up, Rare Moment fam? Happy Saturday. I am AG. This is Cole. We are the Rare Moment. Welcome back to another killer show here this weekend. Today, we're going to be going over our top 10 moments under $10. Before we get into the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter at the Rare Moment, and when you're on the go, find us on Spotify. We would love to uh, hear you guys down in that comment section down below here if you guys got any underrated moments under 10 bucks or anything sneaky that 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 we should be grabbing here at the rare moment let us know hit us up all right cole let's get into it here we know this is what the people want to hear we yep. know everyone's cheap it's tough times in the nft market <laughs> we're digging deep into the bag of trip uh tricks here to uh find some value so let's get that screen share rolling and yep. let's fire it up yeah, and just uh, real quick, just want to make a quick note here. This is a pre-recorded video. We're recording this on Wednesday of this week, and we're going to get it out uh, this Saturday, which would be today if you guys are watching it. So uh, these prices could fluctuate a little bit, so some of these might not be exactly under $10 by the time Saturday rolls around, but hopefully they still will be. So. And before we get in, really get into it, disclaimer, yep. this is not yep. financial advice. Never you are, you are responsible for your own money. We are not taking your money and spending it for you. Thank you. Let's get on with it. <laughs> All right. So my first moment kicking off here, we got the Kyrie Irving uh, common 12K playoff moment from Series 2 going for only $9 right now. Whether you love him or hate him or just, you know, have any other opinions on this guy, He's one of easily the most talented players in the NBA, has been since he entered the league about 10 years ago. And he's, you know, he's going to be a Hall of Famer, in my opinion. I think he's a lock. And if he comes back at some point this season and helps the Nets potentially win a title or even just go deep into the playoffs, uh, but especially if they win a title, it's obviously going to add uh, a big milestone to his resume. It's only going to solidify his Hall of Fame chances. So. I just think it, this is a great value and pretty cool play too, just showing off his wonderful handles that he has. So absolutely, and just you know, just a reminder that that's a 12k moment, and we're releasing 60k moments right now. Yep, very <laughs> scarce considering the mint counts that are coming out now, like you just said. Exactly. And also, the series two commons hold a lot more of a collector score than the series three. So yep, there you go. And so the next moment we got here, the Carmelo. Uh, common 15k here series two pretty nice fadeaway kind of vintage mellow right here yep. uh f from when he was on the portland trailblazers last season going for only eight dollars we mention this guy all the time <laughs> and rightfully so he's a lock for the hall of fame first ballot hall of famer no doubt and he's on the lakers this year obviously very strong contenders for a title this year so again if they win a title similar to kyrie Carmelo, just another milestone to his already lengthy resume. So, and he's he's one of the most you know popular players in the league, one of the most talented players in the league, even at his age right now. Mm -hmm. And so he ain't getting any younger. I, I mean, we harp yeah. on it all the time. This is, and we're just going to continue to roll out Carmelo moments throughout yeah. the rest of the season because th these are guys that we're investing in right now because yep. he's going to retire at some point. Yeah, and like I was saying, he's a really popular player, which only makes his moments more liquid, I think. It's yeah. a lot easier to sell these moments yep. because people are always looking to get some Carmelo to the exactly. collection. So, Moving on to number three here, we got the Manu Ginobili Manu. Archive, the 20K here. Going back here to 0506 when Ginobili actually had hair. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like forever ago. Yeah. Uh, I, I just love this play. I just love the archive moments. I mentioned it in our collections video on Tuesday this week that I, I just love it. I love the, the grainy footage, just seeing all these old school players. The baggy jerseys, the baggy pants, it's just basketball to me, man. It's but, just... but people are going to come back and ask you, you know, well, why this moment? Why this Manu moment? What's the and, thought process, you know, behind going and picking this up right now? Well, and I'll tell you why. So he is uh, eligible for the first time uh, next year, 2022, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yep. I think he's a lock. He's oh, for sure. First ballot lock. If, Hall if, you, of look, Famer. if, if you look at that that hall of fame class it's already been written up he's probably about the only lock that's there 
Yeah. He's yeah, stone cold lock for the Hall of Fame first ballot. And yeah, he was a tremendously gifted player, as you can see by this really acrobatic layup here. Yeah. Uh one of the coolest layups you'll see on top shot. Well yeah, he was a, a gifted player, played alongside uh Tony Parker, Tim Duncan, what or be, many of those tremendous what'll be, Spurs teams. What'll be interesting to me is to see we know when players retire we see bumps in moments. You know, we mm-hmm. we see bumps in price. And when another they, reason why... W- when they reach the Hall of Fame, we don't know how big that bump could be. Yeah. We really haven't seen too much of that yet on NBA Top Shot of players retiring and getting inducted. So, yeah. And know, that was my main reason for yeah. picking this one is, you know... Yeah, I, I really want to see what that Hall of Fame bump looks like if right. there is one. If there is one. We're assuming there's one. We're not guaranteeing yeah. there's one, but... Mm-hmm. We would you would think that you know with Manu getting a little bit of the spotlight, having a speech up there, right. being televised ESPN, you would figure you know we see something in that moment. Exactly. Uh, so next one, another guy just like Carmelo, who we seem to mention all the time, but Chris Paul, common 10.5k playoff moment. I remember watching this play live, and this was one of the few plays where I actually said out loud, I was like. Dang, I need that moment when it comes out on Top Shot. <laughs> this one only going for eight bucks. I mean, Chris Paul, his first time making the finals, crossing up Giannis, Giannis yep. the finals MVP. I mean, come on. It, just a sick moment. Vintage CP3 right there. First ballot Hall of Famer, no doubt. And just like Carmelo and uh, a couple of the other guys that we already mentioned. He's on his. He's on the back nine of his career. He's yep. on his way out in the next probably year or two years. So, yep. just another one of those players that could see that potential Hall of Fame bump and at least a retire- bump. Yeah, retirement bump. Guaranteed. Yeah, the retirement bump. I mean, when guaranteed. Chris Paul retires, it's a this guy's moments are going to go off the charts. Yeah, absolutely. So, and then with my final moment here, oh, might be a little it. controversial with uh, Dwight Howard. I know. Uh, you know, a lot of people hate this guy, but only seven dollars. His archive moment out of twenty k, just like the Manu moment. I mean, look at this. Oh, Jesus! I mean, God. if I tried that, my arm would have just snapped completely off, <laughs> like a GI Joe or something. I barely jumped. Yeah, this is back in his prime on the Magic when he was Superman. Yeah, I mean, people forget just how good he was when he was on the Magic in his early career. And he's one of those players. He's like borderline Hall of Famer. I think he's going to get in. If you look at basketball reference, I think they're giving him about a 98 or 97% chance to get in. He's won a championship. Again, again, like Carmelo, he's on the Lakers this year. Strong title contender. They win a championship. I think that all but guarantees him in the Hall of Fame. He won a championship with the Lakers already. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, yeah, so have, this could be his second title potentially. So this guy's this guy holds records in the NBA. You yeah, know? I mean, this isn't as much as we want to hate on Dwight Howard. You yeah. know, I mean, for what he's not been the past. You know, for God's sakes, I have a, a freaking sign I brought into NBA playoff games <laughs> with his head on an ice cream cone. You know, I mean, Soft, I, I'm not I'm not a fan either. But at the same time, we have to throw that kind of fandom and hatred out and yeah. recognize we're trying to make money here. Yeah, and this, this isn't um, this guy's you can't not be emotional. You can't be emotional when it comes to collecting moments. You got to think financial here. Exactly. I mean, you can't be emotional, you know, in regards to your favorite players. But if you got so this, guys like this that are that you may not like, go after them. I mean, yeah. look how undervalued this is. And I think this kind of leads into to the next uh, five moments here. Yeah, we'll segue over to you and, here, and and we're gonna. I guess we'll start with the Morant right here. But I, I wanted to kind of take a different approach than what Cole did. Uh, you know, he's kind of going through showing you where his head's at in moments that that he thinks are are good investments for the future. And I wanted to start it off by saying everything we're saying right now, we're not telling you to go out and buy these with the expectation that you're going to go flip this for uh, double the profit tomorrow, next week, or the week after that. Okay, that's especially not, in this market right now. Not realistic. We're saying that this is where we dig in right now when we're in a low market and we see where the value stands and we're trying to give you reasons to why we see this value. So let's exactly. start here with the Morant. Look at this here. Five bucks, seven bucks, and then it jumps up to twenty seven. Yeah. And then it starts and it doesn't get, get any cheaper. And then it starts getting unaffordable 
real quick. 135, 210, 217, 250. Then the rare moments start leaking in. You're going yep. seeing thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah. So if any of you are interested in getting into Morant right now, now is a good time because his moments are five and seven dollars for 40k and 35k. Let's remember that moments are only going to get higher mint counts. 60 cc we're seeing right now. So the next Morant we see is going to be a 60 cc you know, unless they come out with another rare or something special that we're only going to be able to probably get in a pack. So mm -hmm. my idea is, you know, go out and grab yourself one, two of these things. I know I will uh, over the course of this season because look at that price discrepancy, seven to 27. I mean, that's crazy. And yep. we're only going to get higher. So yep. that's where my head's at. And that's what I look for. I look for these kind of players who have moments with price discrepancies like this. And so this is obviously a much longer term play than exactly. the guys that I was talking about. Exactly. Because, I mean, he's only, what, 21, 22? Exactly. And he's going to have a lot more moments on the site, and that's where my head is at with this. Is yep. Over the course of the next five, six, ten years, this guy's in the league. How yeah. many more uh, Morant moments are we Are we going to see a 200cc Morant moment at some point? Maybe. Very possible. So 35cc does, isn't going to seem too bad at that point. All right, let's get on to the next here. Uh, I think it's going to be, yes, Dwight Howard. So yep. this is what we were kind of segueing into before is just showing you it's kind of a similar thing. Here's Dwight Howard's moments on the site filtered from lowest to highest. Three, mm -hmm. five, seven, and then 129 is the next cheapest Dwight Howard moment yep. after that, guys. That's it. He's only got eight moments, too. He's got eight moments on the site. He's not going to be in the league very much longer. He wins a championship this year. I don't know. Maybe he hangs it up. Probably not. He'll probably hang around for another few years knowing him, but... Cashing those checks. Like I'm saying here, it's just the same thing. We have a 15... We have a 40K moment at $3, and then a 15K moment at 5 Yeah. What are we doing here? <laughs> and then it's what 20K we, at 7 Why do we not have 10 of these in the bag? You <laughs> yeah. know, like... It's just one of those things where just thinking about it from a money perspective of when someone is going to retire. We we talked we had that video. This is real evidence. There's real trends in that. Dwight Howard's only got a few years left in the league. He's on the back end of his career. Well, here you go. Five, seven bucks, or go ahead and pay the hundred and twenty nine dollars for the rare moment. Yeah. I I think five dollars for a fifteen K L E all day. I'll take the that price all day for a player of Dwight Howard's caliber. Exactly. Well said. All right, what do we got next here? Yes, the most sneaky play in my bag. I want you guys to pay attention to this because this is so beyond sneaky, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, this this is pretty nuts. Rajon Rondo's got a, a 20K. That's probably his highest. This That's his highest mint count on the oh, site. He, yeah, by He's far. got seven moments, and this guy's not blowing out of the water. You know, I mean... Look at his moment, four grand. I mean, that's a LeBron series too right there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not, you know, it's nothing crazy. But at the end of the day, when you think about it, like, dude, this Rajon Rondo moment is uh, him playing on the Celtics in 2014. That's a, it's an old moment on the site. And what are we talking about here? Five bucks? I mean, when yeah. he retires, most people can't go out and buy a $210 moment, a $420 moment, right? Like, mm. But when this $5 moment shoots up to 15, 20, 30 bucks, whatever it's going to go to, maybe higher, people can still afford to buy those at 40, 50 bucks. So I'm going to buy this now at five bucks and potentially when this guy retires, unload this at 40, 50 bucks a clip. That's what I'm yeah. hoping for. That's, I'm yeah. not guaranteeing that to anybody. Yeah, he's 35 years old. I thought he's up there. Uh, yeah, I mean, just the lack of moments he has on the side. He's only got right. seven total moments. And besides the archive, all of them are series one. Nice. He doesn't have a single series two moment, which I didn't find out until AG told me to pull up Rondo <laughs> for this video. And then I saw it. So pretty wild. And just yeah. seeing that price discrepancy and that jump from his lowest to Crazy. his second lowest. So Crazy. Yeah. And, the, and and this is when you when you dig around the site, and this is what we encourage you, when you dig around the site, you'll find things like this. You just got to do your digging, and this archive pack is just nuts. Let's roll the tape to the next. Yep. We're going to another archive. Another archive moment, the Lou Will moment. You notice the trend here. 
you could see you could see this at eight bucks, and it's out of what is that twelve thousand? Yep, twelve thousand and five. So, I mean, so cheap. Yeah. And, and 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 if you go back and look at Lou Williams' moments on on the marketplace, it's kind of the same thing. It's you know he's only got like a you know five six seven moments on the side or whatever they are, mm-hmm. and they start moving up in discrepancy pretty quick. So. This is a rookie moment too. This is a rookie moment. It's it's got a badge attached to it. This is a Lou Williams rookie moment here, and this guy's thirty five years old. He's yeah, also like on the Rondo. he's also on the back nine of his career. This guy's only got another few years playing on the bench. I mean, Jamal Crawford didn't play till he was fifty. Jamal Crawford's out of yeah. the league. You know, Jamal Crawford's one of those last guys you're gonna see playing like as old as he did. Lou Williams, Rajon Rondo, not too far behind him, right? Yeah. So. Honestly, I think Lou Will is done after this year, personally. <clears throat> he could we'll be. See. So an, just another guy to kind of know that he's on the twilight of his career. He's got a cheap moment under 10 bucks. Any moment under 10 bucks is a cheap moment to me. And mm. I think most people can afford that. You know, you can afford oh, to yeah. go if you can afford to go out and spend eight dollars at Burger King, <laughs> yeah. you can af- you can afford to go spend eight dollars on Lou Williams here. Yeah. You know, because let me tell you, this is gonna be an investment where the Burger King's just adding you adding pounds to you so yeah, and instead of getting that three thousand calorie meal go out and get yourself a lou will rookie and when he retires after this season sell this thing for 50 bucks or whatever it's going for you're gonna yeah. thank yourself exactly all right last one here uh same thing as howard not a popular name joel and b not very beloved on the site but this is another, just like most centers this is kind of like another little long-term play for me as just a player that has a, so much potential in this league and has shown he's just a stat wrecker. Now with Ben Simmons potentially out of the picture here, this is in Bede's team fully 100%. He's mm-hmm. the king of the court. If Jokic can win an MVP, I think in Be- and Bede can win an MVP. He puts up similar stats with points, rebounds, and assists. The guy can pass. He's not shy of it either. So... Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to see where his career ends up. It, this isn't like my sexiest under ten dollar play, but it's a playoff moment, and it's just it, it's a little bit more than just your your good old dole common. You know, yeah. it's a playoff common. You know, yep, it's a, exactly a little, a little different. So Only I think 12K it's okay too. It's kind of a cool dunk. It's a cool moment. The little taunting at the end right here with the yeah. ears, and you get the bench reaction in the first yeah. angle. So. Not yeah. a bad, not a bad Embiid moment to own. I mean, you know, if he goes off and wins MVP, I mean, he, or he puts some puts the Sixers in a prime spot in the playoffs, you could see a little price bump bump in him. But I Absolutely. think there's some other moments we showed in this video that could be a little more lucrative. Yep. Yeah, and just the main thing with him has always just been can he stay healthy? And yeah, if he stays healthy and continues to get better and better each year, which he's done each season he's been in the league so far. Nine dollars uh, for a 12k playoff moment from Series Two of Embiid is going to be looking pretty yep. nice a few years from now. Exactly, and I, I, as far as moments go, not under ten bucks too. Like we encourage you guys to go out and look, do your homework, do your research. There's plenty of players out there, big name players out there that are going for under twenty bucks. And if you want to bump that bankroll up just a little bit more and spend fifteen, sixteen, seventeen bucks, you can get guys like Durant. You can get guys. Like not maybe not LeBron, but I know Giannis has got a few of those cheaper moments down there. I mean, mm-hmm. there's Kawhi. names out there. Yeah, I mean Kawhi is. I looked at Kawhi's moments. His moments are down because the guy's out of the picture. What happens if Kawhi comes back and the Clippers go on another playoff run again? You know, are his moments going to see a spike? Maybe, but yeah. I mean, we could have done a video honestly of about thirty or forty moments under ten dollars. Like yeah. I was seeing so many good options last night. It was nuts. And I mean, of course, like. If you enjoy, if you're a Pistons fan, go out and collect Pistons moments for under ten bucks. I'm sure there's a bunch of right. three, four dollar moments. These aren't the only moments you can just invest in. We're just giving you guys more or less our thought process on how we look at ways to make money on this site. Mm-hmm. And like previous video, we talked about retiring. That's no joke. We see the trends in that. And that's kind of a major factor in some of these decisions I've been making recently on players like Rondo, Williams, Howard. Those three guys stand out to me out of the archive pack because those are like the only three guys really left still playing in the league out of that pack. Mm-hmm. So exactly, very intriguing plays. So stuff to go look at, food for thought here. 
Um, just the archive set in general. Go look at that. If you're yeah. looking to pick up cheap moments, go all in on that. Yeah, and it's just not cool. financial advice. Of course. It's just yeah, and you know maybe some of those archive moments never make a move, right? Maybe Steve Francis awesome. stay. Maybe Steve Francis stays at five bucks. Maybe he, it doesn't, right? But at the end of the day, like invest in moments that you either you love that moment and you're fine with keeping that moment in your bag because you just want to get drunk and show your friends <laughs> dude check out the steve francis moment that i have remember when we used to watch him in high school dude you know like whether it's for that or whether it's for like hey this whether it's marcus hall is gonna freaking retire this year <laughs> invest you know let's get some marcus hall moments it's just let's start sniping them there's no wrong here guys there really isn't and that's what i love about top shot you know i mean as long as we're not losing too much money you know <laughs> Everything's all good, guys. It's all good. But we're here to make money, and that's what we want to get across today is there is small ways to make it. Dig around the site and figure it out. Yeah, plenty of value to be had right now. Now is a excellent buy-low opportunity in our Ex opinion. So Exactly. Well, we appreciate you guys tuning in today. Please hit that comment section down below. We would love to hear what moments you guys got in your bag of tricks, uh, like that Rondo moment. Hope you guys like <laughs> that. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but <laughs> but Already seriously, guys. On it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter at the Rare Moment. When you're on the go, find us on Spotify. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend out there. We'll be back with more content next week. Good luck collecting out there. Stay tuned. Peace. <laughs>